Either two things are gonna happen. Either absolutely no one is gonna watch this, or that lady from Homeland Security is gonna watch this and she's gonna be like, Hina, you're on a list. You're on a list. You better watch what you say. I'm still gonna post this. <laughs> fashion doctor and welcome back to my channel today i have something a little different plan for you guys i noticed all these people doing met gala reviews and i thought hey i'm a fashion channel i think i am required to do this right but i want to do something a little different today we are going to review well mostly me i'm going to review the white house correspondent dinners red carpet why Gina? why are you doing the white house correspondent dinners red carpet review because no one else is doing it as far as I know. And, and those poor politicians, they need a little feedback, at least with what they wear, right? And you might be asking, Hina, that was more than a month ago. I'm a double Libra. I do not need a reason or a season to judge. Remember the scales? But by the end of this video, I should have a best dress. And to top it all off, I will give advice on how they should have worn their dresses because I have a feeling they need some advice. Let's get started. Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. Wait, what are they doing at the White House? What? Guys, I'm like flabbergasted. I didn't know like all these non-political people were invited to the White House. I was kind of wanting to grade people who were politicians and kind of make it a funny segment. Okay, well. Pete Davidson, who wears sunglasses indoors? Okay, I don't hate his suit. He's opted for like this skinny tie. Yeah, I have nothing good to say about that. Kim Kardashian, her figure looks great. I don't like the color silver on her, to be completely honest. I feel like her skin tone changes. Like she used to be like lighter toned and now she's browner toned. And on that, I just feel like silver doesn't do her justice. Honestly, it's actually a very pretty gown. I would have preferred her in a maybe more bronze full length gown. Next, we have Drew Barrymore. I don't know what to make of her gown. It's like this sequence, sequence, sequin long length gown. And she's got a butterfly on her. She's got a very pasty looking lipstick on her. I'm gonna say it's okay. And the reason I especially don't like it is because the belt, it it looks very cheap. If you look closely, that belt has like scratches and marks everywhere. I want something shiny and like new. She looks okay. I'm gonna give her an okay. She gets a pass because I'm a fan of hers. Next we have Sophia Bush and I think I've already decided. I think this is gonna be my favorite look of the evening. Oh my God, she looks beautiful, okay? And that gown is perfect. Like this is what I want people wearing to the White House. Very nice silhouette. It's not overly sexy. It's just very elegant and that color. It's chef's kiss, okay? Like yes, yes, all together. That look is just, it's everything. I just Googled Sophia Bush and it turns out she's not in fact related to the president, ex-president George Bush. I thought she was like the daughter or something. Next we have Megan McCain. I don't like this outfit because she's a bit top heavy and that collar is just adding to the imbalance of the top and bottom. So I would suggest for her, maybe like add some ruffles to the more, the hips and the bottom part of the dress. Okay, Melinda Gates. Yeah, no, that color, that color is doing you no justice. It's almost like a neonish yellow. And I'm sure that's like a very expensive, like leather belt, but it's giving me polyvinyl. This is depressing. I mean, listen, Melinda, if you're watching this, which you're probably not, I know you don't have the Bezos kind of money, but you got some money, right? Hire a fashion designer or something. You're already beautiful. We can make you look so much better. You know what? Let me show you. On the left of this collage, we have Melinda Gates in her OG outfit. And on the right, we have the version I attempted to Photoshop. Now, if you notice, I changed that tone of yellow ever so slightly. I basically just got rid of the green. 
I was thinking of Kate Hudson from How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days in that gorgeous satin gown she had on. And I thought, you know what? That tone of yellow would look gorgeous on Melinda Gates. Now I also changed the belt. I noticed that her open toe heels that she was wearing had this sort of braided gold design at the front. And I thought, why not make a belt out of it? And her ring, it looks like tiger's eye to me. So I thought we might as well tie that in with the outfit by making it the buckle part of the belt. And now you be the judge of this. I personally think the softer yellow just looks so much more gorgeous on her. And the belt does not look cheap anymore, so I'm happy about that. Melinda, let me know if you like my modifications. You can always reach out to me. <laughs> Finally, some people other than TV personalities, we have Benjamin Crump and Al Sharpton. I know we don't talk much about male fashion on my channel, but I really appreciate it when they, they mix things up, okay? You don't have to do much. Maybe add a, a shade of green or blue instead of going for the black neck and tie, suit and tie event. Maybe give it some texture. Do, do something different when, with your shoes. Benjamin Crump. I don't know much to say about you, but Al Sharpton. Okay, if you notice that the top part of the suit has texture, I love it. I love it a lot. And then we have KT Tunstall. She's a singer and a songwriter, I believe. No, pass. And you know why? It's because of the material of the cloth. It reminds me of those Barbie doll dresses, the sort of cheap polyester. Sorry, no. And then we have Riley Nora Tracy. Apparently she is a CBS correspondent's daughter. I'm going to pass on this dress as well because you know what it reminds me of? Mid 2000s, 2010-ish, 2007 to 2010. There was this trend of taking recycled things and then folding them into purses and dresses and her dress reminds me too much of that. And then we have Wolf Blitzer and Elizabeth Sherwood Randall. Okay, so Elizabeth Randall is actually a Homeland Security advisor. Yay, finally, you know, more political people. If I would have to rate her dress from one to five, I would give it a one. And my reasoning would be that it looks like it's from a thrift store and not even like an incredible vintage piece. Like it literally looks like from the on sale rack. I am sorry, Elizabeth Sherwood, please do not tag me as a threatening or wanted person. On top of that, she has a belt on it that is the same color. Maybe make it a different color, make it blue, you know? Maybe reflect the flag of the United States. What do you want me to say about Wolf Blitzer? Look, Martha Stewart went. Wait, Martha Stewart went. Didn't she go to federal prison? Okay, okay. I am not here to grade the itinerary or the guest list. Um, I'm just gonna comment on her clothes. I don't like it one bit. Just because you wear a blazer doesn't mean that you can go with sequins and suddenly it's all festive and party and, and red carpet worthy. And there's no balance in terms of giving her a figure. Those pants, they are palazzo pants paired with a very wide, non-fitted blazer. Um, no, I'm sorry, Martha. Do, do, do something like I did today. Like, see this? I've got a blazer and it's down to my hips, but I did wear a skirt inside that is just about the length of it, so it makes it a little edgy. See, see, and I paired it with jewelry. It, it's something that'll, you know, get you noticed. And it's just, it's cute. Just, all my steps, okay? And then we have Amy Shields. Apparently she is an Irish film actress. I'm gonna say no. <laughs> it's giving me prom and I want White House correspondent, power stance. But I will say I like the top part. I like that bit of net just sort of wired to come through on top. But it's the bottom part that's giving me prom, so pass. And then we have Evan Mock, who is a model. Hey, White House, you know, if you wanna Invite someone, you can also invite me. <laughs> uh, I'm just saying, I'm, I'm not gonna take away from the ambiance. Anyways. Okay, love this dude's hair. Nothing special about the dress. Like, what do they feel? Like, they'll just be going against the White House Correspondent Dinner's dress code? Do they have a dress code? Uh, one minute, 37 seconds later. Okay, so the dress code, not that there's like this official paper going out, but from my research, apparently it's just like any other black tie event, just be a little bit more formal, 
you know, don't have like side boob showing or anything or don't wear shorts. But even then, I feel like these guests can be more creative. Do something for the public. Brian Drescher went. Ah, oh, I love her so much. Why did she wear sequins? Oh God, okay, fine. She She's dressed a little better than Martha Stewart. I'll give her that. The, the pants are more tapered. Okay, fine. I'll give you a two out of five stars. I'm being harsh, but that's because I expect better of you, Fran. I know you can do better. Next we have British actor, Jason Isaacs. I actually like his look. All he did was wear a black shirt instead of a white and look at that, he's standing out. He's also kind of handsome, so I might be being partial. This is my grading system, it's my channel, I can do that. We've got Kenneth Lonergan and Jay Smith Cameroon. The lady looks fine. That's a very nice thing to wear to a regal event, I suppose. Minus points for bra strap showing. I mean, maybe I'm being a little harsh here, but I feel like if you wanna show something, show it entirely on the red carpet or just like it shouldn't be there. She should have like pads for pasties. I also like her jewelry, that's pretty. We have Jake Taper, Tapper, Taper, and Jennifer, his wife. I have nothing to say about the dude, but his wife, I feel like her dress looks a little bit more day oriented. Like if I were invited to a lunch at the White House, this would be an amazing thing to wear. I don't know if this is very dinner appropriate. We have Margaret Brennan here and she is a CBS news correspondent, journalist. I like her look. She's giving me like Miss USA vibes. That color looks stunning on her. And the cut of the top part of her dress, yes. And uh, the pleating and the way it drapes on her, yes, yes, you're doing it right, ma'am. Continue, you have my permission and my approval. Not that it matters, Either two things are gonna happen. Either absolutely no one is gonna watch this or that lady from Homeland Security is gonna watch this and she's gonna be like, Hina, you're on a list. You're on a list, you better watch what you say. Here we have Katie Lotz in this full length degletage showing gown and I like it. I wish her pose would have revealed more in slit. It's giving me like art deco vibes because each of those little designs looks like a fancy little chandelier. I like it, yeah, good job. Here we have US Capitol Police Officer Harry Dunn. Yes, sir, you're doing it right, you're doing it right. I like that it's more of a maroonish suit. And hello, you have polka dots on your little bow tie. Of course I'm gonna like this. And he looks genuinely happy to be there. Christina Ruffiani is having a moment here. She's a reporter. She's having a moment. I'm gonna let her have it. She just looks happy in her dress. And I think that's the entire point of fashion. How does it make you feel? I do like the dress. The texture looks beautiful and I'm a sucker for that type of gold. So can you send me that dress, please? I just added Leslie Jordan for vibes. He looks like he's enjoying himself. So, so look at this picture of him, would ya? He's having fun. That's the... Good for you, sir. Okay, we have General John Raymond. Guys, he is the chief of space operations. Remember Space Force? The president is creating a new branch, Space Force, <laughs> which Mark will run. What? That's a real thing. And this is is the chief general. I like a man in suit, I, I, and specifically that sort of garb. You didn't think I wouldn't try to search for President Biden's dress, I mean outfit. Yeah, it's nothing special. I don't even know what to say. Like, add something, do something fun. Use our tax dollars. So I'm focusing on the first lady's dress, but it's not a dress. And this is like one of the few pictures I could find I really had to dig. I get it, people are going for that whole long cardigan look, and hers honestly looks classier than the rest of the sequin ones. And I love the pearls, but there's just something missing, like that glamour that I saw in Michelle Obama. Like her dresses were just like, they suited her. Hi, pants, you look really good in pants. Okay, I'll give you that. But Michelle Obama, just look at her. The best dress was probably Sophia Bush. There was the chicness to the outfit. It was sexy, not too sexy, but it was very appropriate the color, she nailed it. Overall, that was a bit lackluster for me. You can tell they're not using our tax money appropriately just by that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be on a list. I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's something new I thought of. 
If you have other events you want me to review, like let's say a doctor's conference or something, let me know. I kind of like this concept of reviewing the clothes that just regular people or, or people who are outside of the world of fashion wear. Okay guys, have a fantastic day wherever you are or night. I'll see you next time. Bye.